Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create calendar in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description. Download it. Use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. Fine, let's get started. First, we are going to create a new canvas in Photoshop. I'm going to create standard A3 size calendar. The size is 11.6 by 16.5 inches. I'll keep the resolution as 300. Color mode as CMYK. And our canvas is ready. So I'm going to create a new layer. Delete the default one. Now I'm going to bring in our calendar image inside our canvas. For that, go to the image you downloaded. Sorry, the folder you downloaded. Open the image in Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside your canvas. So our calendar background is ready. I'm going to place this image inside a folder. I'll name the folder as image. I used keyboard shortcut Ctrl G to create folder. Okay. Next, we are going to create a new layer. We are going to place that inside a folder called guide. Okay. And I'll name the layer as border. We are going to create a border lines, border guidelines. For that, we are going to go to color picker, select any random color. I'll go with red. Go to shapes tool, select rectangle tool. Give it fill, disable stroke, give a click and create a rectangle 200, 201 by 532. Using this shape as a reference, I'm going to create guidelines which which going to act as our border for our template. Okay. By enabling free transform control T I'm going to flip rotate it so that I'm going to use it to create horizontal guidelines fine so our border lines are ready now we can hide the border shape okay next we're going to create our text content for that create a new layer place it inside a folder name the folder as text okay go to color picker select white color okay the font i'm going to use here is called leto you can download the font i'll give the link in the description so enable text okay um, i'll keep the size as 81 I'll place it somewhere here next I'm going to create a duplicate copy of the text layer edit that one as calendar okay I'll reduce the size I use free transform tool to reduce the size Control T is the shortcut okay so our text is ready next we are going to create months for that create a layer place it inside a folder name the folder as Jan shortcut for January okay name the new layer we created as a base which is going to act as our background for our month Okay, now go to color picker, select black color, select rectangle tool, keep it fill, disable stroke. So now create a rectangle size which reads 964 by 573. Okay, I'll reduce the opacity down to 40%. Okay, this one going to be this one going to be our month background okay i'll place it 
somewhere here right next we're going to create a new layer name the layer as bar go to color picker select green color select rectangle tool and I'm going to create a bar which reads 965 by 100 I'm going to place this one right above the rectangle we created earlier okay Next, we are going to create our text. For that, create a layer, go to color picker, select white color, enable text tool, and type in the month. Okay, January. So I'll keep the size as 16. I'll place the text somewhere here okay next we're going to create a shape which is going to act as our reference to create guidelines okay so for that we're going to create a new layer name this one as guide go to color picker select any color you want it's not going to be issue I'll go with hello select rectangle tool create a shape which reads 45 by 198 okay now using this rectangle as a reference I'm going to create a guideline okay so now I'm going to adjust the January text and place it somewhere here okay now we can hide the guide layer okay next we are going to create days and months text for that create a layer place it inside a folder name the folder as days okay go to color picker select white color enable text tool reduce the size as 12 and type a text yes short short form for sunday okay i'm going to create seven duplicate copies i use keyboard shortcut Control j to create the copies seven okay now we are going to arrange this text for that we're going to select the first one place it somewhere I mean touching the left guideline now select the lost text place it some, somewhere here touching the right guideline now I'm going to select all those text layers select move tool and select distribute horizontal centers by doing so you will see all those texts are neatly arranged and the spacings are even okay so now i'm going to move those text layer and place it somewhere here okay now i'm going to edit the text this one that reads yum short shortcut i mean short form for monday this one t for tuesday Wednesday okay so our days text are ready next we are going to create month dates for that we are going to create duplicate copy of that days folder I am going to use keyboard shortcut Control J I'm going to name this one as R1, row 1. Okay. So I'm by holding shift key, I'm going to bring down the layer below. I'm going to reduce the size of the text a little bit down to 9 points. 
okay now we need to arrange those i mean edit those spacings for that we're going to repeat the same thing what we did before select the first text place it somewhere i mean place it touching the left guidelines and next select the last text make sure it touches the right side guideline now select all those seven text select move tool click distribute horizontal lines so all those spacings are now even now you can edit the text i'm going to keep it as 31 now see you now we can edit the text later now first let's create text all those five rows of text Okay, next we are going to create a duplicate copy just select the folder hit ctrl j to create a copy bring it down below create another copy another one so adjust then adjust the spacings text already now we're going to edit those dates for that click the first one and it has one we got extra text layers you don't need to delete those text layers because we can use those layers in other months January month is ready. Now all you got to do is create a duplicate copy of January folder, edit the text, adjust the spacing, repeat the same for rest of the months. So our calendar is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. If you like this video, hit the like button. For more Photoshop tutorials, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Take care.